Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Art Art. Welcome to my channel again. And I, got, I did a bloom earlier. And so I'm going to do a swipe. But for the sake of time, I kind of put all my colors into a single cup because I'm going to do it like almost like a what I referred to in an earlier piece as a funky worm swipe. So I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to have a little bit more um, characteristics to this swipe. So let me get started and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to put down some white pillow, like let's say like this, okay? And I'm gonna put down some black pillow, let's say like a half and half sort of thing, let the pieces come together like so. And I'm figuring this out as I go along. So if it works, I'll post it. If it doesn't, I won't post it until it does work. No, I'll still probably post it. I'll probably post a few failures here and there because you grow from failures as well. You learn a lot. So I'm just gonna spread this paint out a little bit. There's some components that's gonna be for this particular one that I'm really trying to do. I make sure my knife is clean. Cause I'm not used to doing a half and half when it comes to swipes or the bloom technique, but I'm gonna try it on this one. All right, so before I add my one color, my, some of the other colors on, what I'm gonna do is on this side, on the white, I'm gonna give it some interference just to add a little bit of a shimmer to it. And this is gonna be sort of like a, um, uh, pseudo ghost, whatever you wanna call it, swipe. I'm just gonna swipe these colors across really quick, but I'm gonna swipe it with a little bit of um, titanium white cell activator and so it's going to lend itself to a nice little um, pattern across these interference colors. I put the interference gold on there. I'm not sure if I did or not. Maybe it's the red. Yeah, I think it was the red I didn't put on there yet. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to swipe this um, with my palette knife. I'm going to swipe some of this um, titanium white across that. Put a little bit of a design in it. Okay, a little bit more. See, you learned a few mistakes already. I should have had a wet towel over here to wipe off my swipe my palette knife as I'm swiping. I'll come from this side. Okay. It doesn't look like much, but actually I see a nice little design in there.
So now I dab in my paper towel so that I could do some more um, swiping. Now that I swipe that, this is all the light side. So now that I swipe that, I'm going to wreck it with a toothpick, which was hidden from me. I have a lot of stuff on my counter, so thanks for being patient with me. So I'm going to just kind of run some kind of design like this through these interference colors. Let's make a nice little pattern. And it's mostly gonna show up once it's all resined up. All right, so I have that there. Now for the cup that I already pre-poured and I'm going to use the black cell activator for that. So first let me get the color, color cup I already, already pre-poured. I will put the color list in the description box but right now I didn't have time to go through the whole pouring pro uh, cup pouring process. I didn't want to make a long video. So Let's go here. Look at those nice, beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. Take the rest of this, kind of go along that this bottom edge again, kind of bring and marry these colors around like so. All right, good. So there is the worm. Now the swipe the worm. So I'm going to use my black cell activator. And I use my black cell activator to swipe across the white area. So, come back the other way. Like so. Get more of this in the middle. It's the 
wake up some cells there. All right. Now let's take the white side of it and go along the black side. Which I should have started in the middle the first time. Hope this is not a scraper. I may have to do some working with this one before I actually um, spin it out or tilt it off. Doesn't really look quite much, quite quite much like a worm anymore, does it? Well, that's okay. I'm gonna work with it. So how can I work with it? All right, so maybe I'll pull some lines through here. I'll pull some of these lines the other way to give it kind of a balance. So I will go this way. Are these parts going to stay on? That's the key. Maybe, maybe not. All right, all right, folks. I'm starting not to like it, but we'll see what happens. So let me start doing some tilting first. Kind of abstract there. Get to this end here. Pull it back. Mm -hmm. Spin it a little bit. I got plenty of paint still left on this canvas. Let me go this way a little bit. Okay, bring it back slowly. Ooh, I love those cells that just opened up in the middle right there. You know what? I'm gonna leave it just like that. Okay. Let me wipe my hands off and get you down for a closer look. All right, folks. 
This is a closer look. Let me change the uh, lighting. All right, I'm gonna take the glare off. Now, this is the wet result. So you can see the lacing that the white selectivator left over the black. You can still see the ribbon from the pour here. The black lacing on the white. Now look at these few little cells right here that open up in the middle. That just added so much character to it. Even though there's not a lot of cells here, but I love the design and I love that little patch of cells right there. And then here, in this little area here, I don't know if you can catch it or not, but you can see a little bit of the glistening from the interference colors that was in there. And that's going to pick up when it's resin. So you can see some of it there now, but when it gets resin, it's going to highlight itself when the light hits it a certain way. So there you have it, folks. There's a swipe for the night, and I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Have a great day. Happy pouring, and bye-bye.